Hi everybody, I'm Alison. I'm a second year law student at the University of Dundee. I'm Elise, I'm a second year student at the University of Dundee. Today we are just going to do a Q&A about the facilities and the accommodation and the buildings in Dundee. We'll just jump straight into it. The first question is, what accommodation should I pick? So there's like five accommodations at the university, so we'll just mm -hmm. touch on all of them because what will be the best for you will be different to other people. It's just about personal choice really. So there's Seabrays, there's the new Seabrays and there's the old Seabrays and they're both together and they're like a five minute walk from Tesco's and a five minute walk from campus so it's like just off campus which is quite nice because it's not like as loud yeah I'd say at exactly. night if you have a car as well then you can but there's parking on Seabrays the new Seabrays just has a bit more modern facilities um, than the older ones and I'd say the old Seabrays is like warmer mm -hmm. at winter and stuff yeah. I remember walking in and it was just so warm all the time some of the rooms I think are bigger as well yeah I think one room in each flat is slightly bigger and then on campus there's Belmont so it's literally surrounded by the whole campus there there's Belmont and then Belmont Tower and Balfour so all three of those are in the same block so Belmont is the biggest one it's identical to New Seabrays and then Balfour which I've not actually been to I've been to it once like... and I think it's like more narrow and there's more it's smaller yeah it's smaller and then there's more people like in yeah and it's flat so New Seabrays Old Seabrays Belmont and Heathfield it's six people per flat whereas Balfour is a bit more I, I think. think it could be like eight and then Belmont Tower as well it's about seven six, or eight seven. I think yeah. We were at New Seabrays. Mm -hmm. Same flat. Yeah, we really enjoyed it and it was nice, I think, just to be a bit off campus, a bit away from the noise if you decided yeah. not to go out on a night. And it was also so nice being so close to Tesco's. Yeah, really handy. But if you're on campus, you're close to like the Prem and like Little and Tesco Express. Yeah. And then there's West Park, which is a bus away from the uni and it's also a bus away from the hospital. So it's closer mm -hmm. to Ninewells Hospital. That might be ideal for you if you are a medic or a nurse or for your degree, you need to be in the hospital. Also in New Seabrays, there is a whole block just for Nurses. So that means that whenever everyone leaves in June, all the nurses have to stay on until mid July. Instead of paying rent for just that and trying to, have to move out, you're able to pay for the extra month. And also, if you do that, other flatmates will be nurses as well. So it's a good way to make friends, like of uh, course. Yeah, and it's handy as well if you've placement because everyone will be a lot quieter whenever you're in that block. Seabrays would maybe be a good option if you're a nurse. What are options for accommodation for older students? Accommodation like with Dundee Uni is generally for first years, though Heathfield, you can be a postgraduate there he field as well as on campus there's also private accommodation around dundee what is campus like so i'll talk about like the buildings and stuff so there's obviously the main library and there's three floors and i think they're maybe renovating a fourth yeah, floor the top floor there's different sections so there's the quiet section silent group study you can also book rooms as well if you want to do a group study mm -hmm. like with your friends you can just kind of choose wherever you work best and go to that section everything you could possibly need is on campus so it is very easy to stay on campus if it's a busy day of class and there's not really much need to go home. There's water filling stations, there's lots of food places like the Lara Bar, things like that, lots of facilities. If you're bringing lunch from home as well, like microwaves and kitchens for student use. In the main library, there's a cafe as well, so you can buy wraps, baguettes, coffee and stuff. They also have hot water that you can use as well. There's a microwave, there's water filling, there's seats as well, vending machines. There's also lockers at the library if you want to leave your books overnight. It saves you carrying them in the next day. Also in the main library, at nearly every seat, you have plugs as well, so you can charge your laptop, your phone, headphones, whatever you need. There's also the scrimmager building which also has another library section so the scrimmager building is for social sciences i think other groups of degrees have different have like other buildings don't they for example nine wells hospital there's a 24-hour library there for anybody who's got classes there and wants to study there there are probably other degree specific study areas that we just haven't yeah. explored and then there's the Ducey union which is right beside the library pretty yeah. much it has the liar bar and you can get free breakfasts between half eight to half ten you can buy food there as we said also at the prem so on campus we use not called Taya. Every time you pay in the Premier or anywhere in the Dusa building, you scan your app and then all of your points get accumulated and then you can use them to buy cheaper coffees, pizzas, like a lot of rewards. Yeah, like discounts and stuff. Yeah. We'll show you the Taya Rewards app so you can familiarise yourself with it. Definitely download it. Everybody has it. Okay, so it looks like that. Um, 
So it looks like this. So here you have all the points that you can get, and then the rewards. So you can get soup for one pound, breakfast roll for one pound. Also, if you get coffees as well, they stamp your card. So I've got two stamps, and then on my tenth one, I get a free coffee. So it's a good way to save money. So you just scan the wee thing they have, the scanner, you put it up, and that's it done. Yeah, so it's pretty simple. And then it means that if you go out to Mono or Four Five in Medusa for the clubs, you can use that as well, which stacks up points. Yeah, it's good. Then you get points whenever you're buying drinks. Yeah, and you can use them during the day. Shopping, so. food, anything. Other buildings, there's Dalhousie, there's the Tower building, as well as Scrimger. These are probably the most common places that we would have like lectures and seminars. I've got all of my lectures in the Tower, which is besides Scrimger kind of. There's a massive lecture hall there. Also Dalhousie, I have a lot in there, and then Scrimger for social sciences. What is it like to be at an on-campus uni? I feel like everything is so close and like easy to get to. So it's very quick to get to and from places, like from your different classes. The days are therefore like more productive and efficient because you're not wasting time like, on commuting. Yeah. Wasting time commuting is something that you don't tend to think about until it's like that busy period of mm -hmm. like exams. You know, every minute it counts and you don't have to waste time on that. You can just go straight from class to the library. It takes you two minutes. Also, the fact that it's a small city. If you forget anything at home, it's easy to pop back home. Obviously, depending on where you live. But if you're mm -hmm. in accommodation, it's all quite close. So it's easy to pop back and get it or nip home for lunch. I feel like because it's so small, it's communal. I feel like you see people more yeah. often than you would in a big city. And then it sort of helps you like build a friendship mm -hmm. with them. It's like you don't yeah. just see someone once and never see them again on campus i see at least someone every every day i go to class next question is how do people commute on campus it is very easy just to get to and from places yeah. just walking and you can really save money on transport for that for people who are getting the bus to nine wells or if you're just getting a bus at all make sure you apply for the scots rail mm -hmm. card you get free travel as a student under 22 yes i think it is so that's really handy you can actually get a bus anywhere for free some people do have cars like elise so i'll let elise yeah. talk about that i've got my car in first year i didn't have it and i didn't find that i needed one just personally for hockey the pitch is about half an hour away so if you play hockey rugby football lacrosse a lot of the sports are at riverside which is about a half an hour walk so i find having my car makes it easier for that also for matches for class and stuff i walk because with accommodation you'll live five ten minutes away like max unless you live in west park i find for shopping it's quite easy as well to go around dundee but you don't need your car it's handy to have it in case but if you're doing like a big shop yeah like mass, like for me i go to tesco every one two weeks because i used to do a massive shop also for glass bottles as well to recycle those we go to tesco <laughs> um i don't often use my car as well so for petrol i'm not spending a vast amount of money for it i fill it up every semester really yeah oh my gosh that's so little I like going home i have to fill it up and that's it it's because you're just not traveling far yeah oh my word so the next question is does the uni have much accessibility to wheelchair access so there's lifts at most of the accommodations i think if you do need disability access they'll put you on the first floor the ground floor Ah. Uh, but Belmont, Belmont Tower and Heathfield, they all have elevators. Whenever you're applying for accommodation, they ask you a lot of health questions and stuff. So just mention that you need like wheelchair access or elevator, any of those, and the, the uni will accommodate you. They would most likely put you in the bottom floor for accommodation, but if I think not, so, yeah. they do have lifts in most of the accommodations. Yeah, they do. So I know for sure Belmont and like yeah, the tower and, as well. Yeah. There's lifts in like all of the main buildings on campus. Yeah. So in Dusa, it's I think five floors, but there is an elevator in Dalhousie as well. I think every uni building has a lift yeah. um, to make it accessible for those who need it. So whenever you go from the Prem or like the main flat part of campus to go up to Belmont, there are stairs, but there is a ramp that does lead up to it to make it accessible. I think a lot of buildings as well, they have ramps, they have the doors that open automatically as well. I feel like as someone who doesn't need a wheelchair, I'm not looking out for it, but we could still mm. already list you yeah, so many I, things. I think of a lot of examples. So there's definitely more than that that we just haven't picked yeah. up on. What are the sporting facilities like at Dundee? So on campus, there's the ISE gym. In the ISE, there's a gym, there's a big sports hall as well. You can do classes, so you can do step class, Zimba, spinning class. There's quite a few. You do have to pay for a membership. There's different options. So for me, I buy the one where I play a sport, but I don't go to the gym because I'm not a gym goer. But I still have access to the pool on campus and the sauna. I've got the full membership, which is so access to all the facilities because I do sport and then also I just pay a little bit extra every month to have access to the gym and the classes. I think for mine it's about £13 a month and then yours is only I think 18 so if you do go to the gym and play a sport it's not that expensive to pay for the whole membership. There are other gyms in Dundee that are fairly close but I just feel like it makes the most sense to use the Dundee gym especially if you 
do a sport because it's a lot cheaper. Yeah. But it's very, very cheap compared to other gyms. And then as I mentioned, Riverside, which is about a half an hour walk. There's quite a few pictures, so rugby pictures, football pictures, AstroTurf for hockey, 4G for football. There are also Dusa buses provided for away games. So if you're playing a hockey game in St Andrews or anywhere, the club will get together and designate someone who has a license. And yeah. Also, if you do join a club, it is recommended that if you can drive, you should try and do the bus test so that you can drive all of your team down to the matches. The next question is, what advice do you have for moving out of accommodation? Obviously, we were in the same flat last year. Mm -hmm. So our experience was good. I would recommend maybe looking for housing in second semester, maybe yeah. January, February. Yeah. As soon as you can, really, whenever you know who you want to live with. You can actually find like really nice houses and flats for a decent price in Dundee. For storage, I recommend getting it, booking it quite far in advance. Because for us, we didn't because... We were silly, but <laughs> we used kangaroo storage. We found it to be really cheap for how long we were doing it. I think we kept ours for about two months. Also, I think kangaroo storage, they will pick it up for you and then also drop it off whenever you're moving into a new house or flat. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that this was helpful if you're thinking of coming to Dundee. But yeah. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs>